Good morning. My name is Kula Gallo and thank you for joining me this morning. Looking forward to sharing my devotional with you all. Firstly, I just want to say thank you to Pastor Trish for sharing her devotions since all the way back in March. Since the start of our lockdown, it seems so long ago now. Almost, I think next week it's going to be June. Wow, how time flies. Hope you've all had a lovely weekend and enjoying all the activity that we are now sharing with you all at Centrepoint Church Melbourne. For many of you that don't have Facebook, we now can access all that we have through YouTube and that's exciting news for some people that don't have Facebook. We had an amazing weekend and an encouraging word at um, church last weekend. And the topic was hero worship. Who do we put on the highest place? Who, sorry, who do we put in the place of the highest value in our hearts was the topic. So last fortnight we had the beautiful, lovely Adele Sparrow share her devotion about peace, which was amazing, which prompted me to share about hope today. My go-to devotionals is in the YouVersion Bible app that you can all access and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, so firstly, I just want to say <clears throat> growing up, it was easy to cross, cross my fingers and hope for the best. Who can relate to that? And hope for the best, that's true. This everyday hope is very different to the Bible hope that we have in Christ. It is so much more than that. True? To have hope means to have a confident expectation. Hope may not, may not come naturally to us, but here's the deal. To have hope, we must know God completely, intimately. Because God is hope. So for us to live a life of hope, we must know the object of our hope. True? Hope to me became tangible, as real as a person in front of me when I first found Christ to be real in my heart. It had a whole new meaning, a whole new level of meaning to me. I felt a sense of assurance, a certainty that my life was in his hands. Whereas before, not having that personal relationship with God, there was a hope, but there was a question mark at the end of every thought that I had. I'm sure you can relate. God doesn't need us to have a mountain of hope. He just needs a little seed, a seed that will grow into something huge, something that will sustain us through good times and in hard times. I've really found that to be true, especially in recent times. So the first verse that I have is, well, it's the only verse actually, but it's Romans 5, uh, verses 1 to 5, and I really love the Passion Translation. The first verse reads, Our faith in Jesus transfers God's righteousness to us, and he now declares us flawless in his eyes. This means we can now enjoy true and lasting peace with God, all because of what the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, has done for us. How beautiful is that first verse? This verse really reveals to me something beautiful, really powerful and assuring. Because of the obedience of God's Son and what Jesus did on the cross, He now sees you and I pure and flawless. This is where our love, faith, for him grows and grows day by day. True? I find that to be true to me. Verse, uh, verse 2 reads, Our faith guarantees permanent access into his marvellous kindness that has given us perfect relationship with God. What incredible joy bursts forth within us as we keep celebrating our hope, experiencing God's love. I can really relate to the devotional thought that I read this morning about this verse. And it read like this. 
Have you ever discovered money in your jacket that you haven't worn for a while? How excited are you when this happens? It's like, wow, how did that get there? I did not know it was there all this time. This too can happen with our abundant riches that we have in Christ. We always have them, but we often forget about them or fail to use them. I believe when we have the blessing of God but don't apply them in our lives, we are missing out on the life God intended for us to have. So true. The next verse reads, or well, the next verse is 3, 4 and 5 and it reads, but that's not all. Even in times of trouble, we have a joyful confidence knowing our pressures will have developed in our patience, patient endurance. Our patient endurance will refine our character and proven character leads us back to hope. And this hope is not a disappointing fantasy because we can now experience the endless love of God cascading into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Amen. What a beautiful verse that was. Well, we, when we truly seek God intimately, he can help you know his love and when you experience his love, you can really grasp his grace, his forgiveness, peace, the list goes on and on for you and me. Understanding God's love can completely fill us with an unlimited love and an unlimited hope. I really pray that this was encouraging for you as it was for me this morning. To make the God of hope your hope. Through Christ, we can have this confidence, expectancy that far exceeds any worldly hope. Amen. Bless you all and stay safe. Hopefully we'll see you soon.